where you get big news for the small cap market. My name is Charles Sample, and you're tuned in to the Executive Spotlight, where executives share their insights, current projects, daily challenges they face, and future goals and aspirations they have for the companies that they lead. Today, we are in the historic city of Philadelphia for the American Diabetes Association's 72nd Scientific Session. We are at the booth of Neurometrics Incorporated with the chairman and CEO, Dr. Shai Ghazani. Neurometrics is a medical device company focused on the diagnosis and treatment of the neurological complications of diabetes. The company currently markets products for the detection, diagnosis, and monitoring of diabetic neuropathies, such as diabetic peripheral neuropathy and median neuropathy, commonly known as carpal tunnel syndrome. Based in Waltham, Massachusetts, Neurometrics is currently traded on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange, and its symbol is N-U-R-O. Hello, Dr. Ghazani. Thank you for joining us again. Thank you for having me. Can you give us an explanation of what diabetic peripheral neuropathy, DPN, is, and how many lives in total does this disease affect, and how many new cases are diagnosed per year? Sure. Well, diabetic peripheral neuropathy is the most common chronic complication of diabetes. What it is is nerve damage uh, as a consequence of diabetes, and it primarily affects patients in the feet and lower legs, and what it causes is ultimately loss of sensation, it can cause severe pain, and particularly in the elderly, it can also lead to a much higher risk of falling, so it's a very severe complication of diabetes. Uh, diabetic peripheral neuropathy, or DPN, affects about half of people with diabetes. So right now, there are about 25 million people with diabetes in the United States, and about 300 million in the world, so the problem of DPN is quite significant, it obviously affects many tens of millions of people, both in the U.S. and abroad. Is Neurometrics taking to address DPN? Neurometrics is the only medical device company that is solely focused on DPN. So our products are trying to address diagnosis and therapy of DPN from a medical device perspective. Uh, there are many pharmaceutical and biotechnology companies are approaching it from a pharmacologics or drugs, but as far as trying to solve the problem through medical devices, we are unique in that, in that respect. Tell us about your NC stack DPN check diagnostic tool. What does it do? How does it work? And who uses it? So NC stack DPN check is the evolution of our point of care nerve testing technology. So we launched uh, the concept of point of care nerve testing uh, in 1999. And what this is, is quantitative evaluation of nerve function that can be provided at the point of care or right um, in the uh, physician clinic uh, when the patient is there. So it doesn't require referral to, uh, to laboratories. NCSTAT DPN check is the third generation of this technology, and it's uniquely designed to assess nerves that are a nerve called the sole nerve that is, uh, in particular, uh, one that is damaged by, by uh, in diabetes or by diabetic peripheral neuropathy. So what it is is a rapid, cost-effective tool that allows physicians to check patients for DPN, both in terms of detecting it very early as well as in defining its severity and then tracking it over time to make sure that the therapies are working. What potential impact the DPN diagnosis have on the lives of persons with DPN? Well, we think it has a very significant impact because DPN, as I mentioned before, if it progresses, can lead to foot ulcers, many of which can require amputation. It can also cause severe pain in patients. So early detection intervention is uh, critical to preventing the progression and complications of DPN. DPN check, consistent DPN check, gives physicians a tool to detect the disease literally five or ten years before it impacts uh, the patient from a clinical perspective, giving them a huge head start on, on uh, better management, better therapy that allows them to prevent it from becoming uh, this devastating complication of diabetes. What is NC staff DPN check better than what is available now? What is available now for physicians are useful um, tools, but they're basically part of the clinical examination. So for example, it's something called the monofilament test, where it's basically a piece of fishing line that's pressed up against the bottom of the foot, and if the patient can feel that, that's good. If they can't feel it, it means they have a fairly advanced form of neuropathy. So the tools that are available today, such as the monofilament, such as a tuning fork, a reflex test, common components of the physical examination, 
are important, but they only detect the disease at a late stage. They're qualitative, and they really don't give you the ability to monitor uh, the condition over time. So NC State DPN check is an electronic quantitative test that not just detects the disease at an early stage, well before these other tools, but also allows you to quantify and monitor the disease, hopefully helping you better manage it. The physicians use it in different ways. Well, one way you would use it is, for example, if a patient is complaining of symptoms and you want to try to quantify whether they have DPN, you would do the test. It would typically be performed by a, a nurse or a technician in your office and then they would give you the results. Some physicians um, and uh, uh, managed care organizations are, are using it on an annual basis for, as a part of their annual screening. So there are different, different ways of using it in, in different types of patients, but the basic concept is it's a straightforward test. It can be done by staff in the physician's office, and again, it gives you a quantitative evaluation of uh, DPN. So when the device is used by a physician, do they get instant results that they can evaluate, or does this information have to be processed by third party? Now the device is, is a true point-of-care device, so it, it gives you literally in about 10 to 15 seconds uh, two numbers, um, so they're called the conduction velocity and amplitude. The conduction velocity is how fast electrical impulses conduct in your nerves, and the amplitude, which is how large the signal is. Uh, it gives you that data immediately, um, right there with the patient, allowing you to act on it um, in a very prompt fashion. You can also upload the data into a computer, into your electronic medical record for data archiving and trending purposes, uh, but it is a, gives you immediate results uh, really within a, a minute or less. One of the significant complications of DPN is severe pain. Uh, this is called painful diabetic neuropathy. Uh, historically, this has been treated with a variety of different drugs, some of which um, can be effective in some patients. We have developed, uh, are in the process of developing a, a product called Census, which is based on the, on the uh, concept of transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. This is non-invasive stimulation of nerves that blocks pain signals, and the product census has now been submitted to the FDA. This would be a device that patients with chronic pain, such as a patient with painful diabetic neuropathy, could use to help them manage the pain, such as when they're about to go to sleep or when they have flare-ups of the pain. Are neuromethods 
products on the market? The NC Stack VPN check is on the market. It was launched in uh, September of 2011, so we're about eight or nine months into the launch. I'm very pleased with the adoption we've seen today. Uh, the census product is not on the market. It's presently being reviewed by the FDA. We hope to have it on the market by the end of uh, this year. Can you talk a little bit about the market reaction to the NC Stack VPN check that has been well received? Yes, the reaction to NCSTAT VPN check has been very positive. Um, we sell the product through a variety of different channels. Um, we sell the device into US-based endocrinologists and podiatrists because they're very focused on diabetes and uh, the uh, neuropathic and food complications of diabetes. We've also uh, been effective in selling it into managed care organizations, which are uh, tend to be very focused on prevention. Uh, and we've even uh, sold it into the retail chain, Walmart Canada, where they've adopted in, 100 of their pharmacies uh, providing uh, screening services uh, for, their, for their community. So we really see adoption in a variety of different market segments, um, and so we're very encouraged with what we've seen thus far. Of course, we have a great deal of work to do, but uh, the early, early adoption has been encouraging. Dr. Gazan, why is the ADA meeting important regarding the introduction of the company's census device? Well, the ADA meeting is the premier diabetes meeting in the world. All the thought leaders are here, um, all, the, uh, all the companies in the diabetes space are here, and this is really where innovations in diabetes are generally introduced and discussed. So it's very important to, to let the community, uh, the diabetes community, both from an academic, research, and clinical perspective, know about the technology and, and become aware of what we're trying to do and how we're trying to help patients with DBN. So uh, it was very important for us to uh, be here to demonstrate the product and uh, we've been encouraged by the response that we've received from the attendees about both DPN check as well as census. What do you see as your near-term challenges and opportunities? Well, the near-term challenge with NCSTAT DPN check is to continue to grow the business, uh, to continue to demonstrate adoption. Our target for the year is to end, is to end the year with a thousand devices in the hands of various types of clinicians using the technology. We feel it's an important inflection point. We're well on our way towards that. And then, of course, with census, it's to get through the regulatory pathway, uh, get the product through the production ramp up and on the market by the end of the year. So, really, we're at an early stage with our with our diabetes strategy. We're uh, encouraged by what we've seen before, but we need to build it and continue with the uh, development. Dr. Gennady, thank you for joining us today. May you and your metrics have the best of fortunes moving forward into 2012 and beyond. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it.